Hey guys, this is Inka. So I'm going to be trying to make some super creamy whipped coffee today using only three ingredients and none of them will be dairy products. I am super excited about this because I've been seeing this amazing coffee pop up all over Instagram and YouTube. It's basically this like beautiful, smooth and silky cream-like coffee. And apparently this blew up in South Korea. They call it Targona coffee. The word actually comes from the street food snack they have, this toffee-like candy. The batter is very similar to how this coffee tastes and looks. That's why they named it. So whipped coffee in itself has actually been around for a long time. It's really popular in places like India, in Macau. It's just that now it is a internet craze. But yeah, so today I am going to make my very own whipped coffee at home. So in terms of ingredients, like I said, there's only three things and I'm pretty sure everybody has this in their pantry. The first thing is instant coffee. Brand itself doesn't matter. But what's really important is that it has to be instant coffee. There is a scientific explanation for it. I believe it has something to do with stabilizing the foam, some sugar, and also some water. So the best thing is you only need two tablespoons of each ingredient if you're only making this as a drink. So if you guys have this at home, I think it'd be really fun for us to all do this together if you want to go grab those ingredients now. I am going to put them all in the bowl here and we can start mixing. I'm going to start off with the coffee, which smells so amazing. Now for sugar. Last but not least, some water. It smells so good already. So now that we have our beautiful coffee mixture, it is time for whisking. If you have a stand mixer, definitely feel free to just toss it in and let it do all the work because that's probably only gonna take three minutes and you'll have that beautiful meringue-like coffee cream. But for today's purposes, and because I really want to test out the theory of like having to mix it 400 times before you can get that cream-like consistency, I am going to go with a hand whisk. This will be my workout for the day. I hope you're all ready for this and I hope you're all doing this with me. I'm actually also going to start this timer and let's do it. All right, so it's been a minute and right now it's kind of frothy looking. Ta-da! This is what it looks like right now. I know we're still far from getting it to that really meringue-like consistency, but it looks promising so far. I wanna say it's been like almost four minutes and I have already whipped this 400 times and my <laughs> I keep on switching my arms because it's already so tired. It's not as liquidy as we started out with. It's slightly foamy, but we still have a long way to go. So I'm gonna start the timer again and keep counting. And yeah, let's, uh, let's finish this. I feel like my stand mixer is mocking me. Hard work makes it taste better. My brother just asked me if I was pissed off at something. No, I'm just trying to get my coffee cream. All right, seven minutes right now, and there's a little bit more of a body to it. Keep going, keep going. I am starting to sweat. Whew. Nine minutes in and I am sweating but we're getting these beautiful ribbons. I don't know how long, how much longer this is gonna go, but it's been almost 10 minutes now. Peanut butter, it looks like peanut butter. Woo, we're getting there. Super exciting news because it can cling to my whisk. But I do want mine to have a little more shape, so I am going to go on a little bit more. It has been 13 minutes and 30 seconds, and so I'm gonna see if we can aim for 15. It smells so good in here. Mm. 
Whoa, look at that. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow. You guys, I think it's pretty much done. Look at this. Beautiful soft peaks. Oh my God, I am so excited. It's crazy because we really just started out with this like liquidy brown mixture and now it is this beautiful cream-like consistency. It blows my mind. I could stare at this footage forever. There's some Willy Wonka stuff. It has been around 17 minutes and this is the beauty we have. Look at this. I really want to try it like this first before we put it on anything else. Ooh. Oh my God, it is so light. It literally feels the exact way you would expect it to. I mean, look at that. It is so perfectly smooth and rounded. Oh my God, that's really good. It is super caffeinated right off the bat, strong, overwhelming coffee flavor, but the texture is so light and fluffy. All that air we just put into it, you taste it. This is dangerous because you could totally eat this like this and then be like super energized for the rest of the day. All right, so now that our whipped coffee is done, I am going to serve mine on a glass of milk. There's like a couple ways you can do this. You can use it as frosting too, but I would really enjoy a cup of coffee right now. So we're gonna go with that. I have my milk. We're gonna go ahead and pour this in. I think that should be enough now for our coffee. Oh my God, look at this. Did you guys see that? Oh my God, it looks so good. Oh, this is the most satisfying thing I have ever seen. You guys, tell me this isn't the most perfect cup of coffee you've ever seen. Gorgeous, it is gorgeous. This is honestly so worth it. I hope you guys, as you were following along, are also at this place. I think you're supposed to mix it, but I'm gonna try and drink it like this first. <laughs> A little too dense. All right, let's mix it. Ooh I could stare at this forever. I'm ready. It's a little more incorporated now. The milk has changed color. This is incredible. Woo! To the people who've been doing this for a long time, you guys really know what's up because this is an incredible cup of coffee. I always thought that like you could only get coffee this creamy if you have like, you know, like a fancy espresso machine where they can steam the milk for you. But this, well, the coffee itself is the frothy part. Also, I was expecting it to be slightly grainy, but I think we really like went in there and like whipped the heck out of it. So everything that's left is pure creaminess, which is a beautiful thing. If there's ever a trendy thing that you need to try and do at home, this is it. Remember, this whipped coffee actually has no cream whatsoever. Just to show you guys that like you can enjoy this without milk, I'm actually going to use a little bit of what I have left over and make it into like a little cup of coffee. Okay, so this version only has water with our whipped coffee. Looks a little bit like beer, but it's super, super frothy on top. We're gonna give it a try. This is still really good. It's a lot less creamy than the other one. It's still very, very pleasant and you still get that airiness on top. I am going to be drinking this for the rest of the day and possibly the rest of the week and the rest of the month because it is so, so good. I hope you guys are enjoying this too. And I'll see you guys next time for when we make our next trendy thing. Cheers.